Shalom Aleichem, it's Binyamin Hammer from the National Council of Young Israel. I'm the Director of Rabbinic Services, and I'm happy to say that it's my turn for four minutes of Torah, and a, a thrill to be able to share with you some thoughts in these next few moments. This week's parsha, of course, is Parsha's Re'e. We know that Re'e begins with Moshe Rabbeinu telling us that life is about bracha and klala. Seems like two very extreme ideas. And later on in the parsha, as we have seen throughout Sefer Devarim, hachayim v'hamesim, life and death. And so many of us can relate very much, whether it be just this last six months of what's been going on for the Jewish people, or the last 18 months, or throughout our lives, the challenges of bracha and klala, the challenges of life and death hanging always in the balance. Here we are, only a few days before Chodesh Elul, and where again, the countdown begins to the Yom and Arayim, again, begging Hashem for bracha and not klal, for chayim and not mavis. And so I saw a beautiful vert from the Vilna Gong that may help us understand better how we could bring chayim, life to us, closer, and mason, death, as far away from us as possible. We all know the story of Pinchas, Ben Elazar, Ben Aaron HaKohen, HaKadosh Baruch Hu states emphatically, Heshev es chamasi me'al b'nei Yisrael. The act that Pinchas did, a very difficult act, a very challenging act, a very questionable act to many, was an act that saved Kla Yisrael to live, as opposed to a magefa, a plague, a death which would have taken place to the entire nation had he not acted. The Torah uses a very unusual term, Heshev es chamasi. He assuaged, he calmed, he returned my anger. When it comes to understanding life and death, the Vilna Gon tells us we should look at the idea of the machsas shekel. The machsas shekel, as we know, was the half coin that each and every member of Klai Yisrael from a certain age gave, which was the accounting of Klai Yisrael. With that counting, with the machsas shekel, HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed us how much we were endearing to him, how much he loved us. But says the Vilna Gaon, look at the word machsis. In the center of the five letters is the letter tzadi. Tzadi stands for tzedakah, sidkus, righteousness, charity. When a person gives the machsa shekel, when a person gives charity, when a person does acts of kindness, when you are acting in a way of living your Torah life as a tzaddik, in the act of kindness and righteousness, and what happens to the rest of the letters? Closest to it is the word, is the letter ches and the letter yud, chai. It brings us closer to live. And what does it take further away from us? The letters mem and the letters saf. See the mem and see the saf. Further and further away from chayim. That's what happens when we act accordingly. Chayim comes closer to us. What happened with Pinchas? that Hashem says, hey, shiv es chamasi. The word chamasi is also has the same letters as machsis. It's just missing the tzaddik. It's missing the tzaddi, the letter tzaddi, which represents righteousness. When we are not acting righteous, look, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that happens in our lives. The letters ches and yud chai are further away from us. And the letters mem and saf of mace brings us even closer to it. And so Kla Yisro was challenged to this terrible incident that happened with the Midianites in the story of Bilam and Balak, Pilchaz assuaged and turned around God's anger. What he did was he moved away from the center of Mem and Saf and brought us closer to the Chesed Yud, very similar to what the Machsis Sashekel does. When we follow in the order of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when we live this kind of righteous life, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Chayim, Bracha, Tov, Nachas, the zunt, all the things that we want and ask for. But chas v'shalem, when we don't, when we forget the lesson that we are in control, that we could give tzedakah, that we could be righteous, that we could act with kindness, and God forbid it's inverted. Heishev es chamasi. That's our goal, to be pinchas like, to turn things around. In these days, as we count down to Elo, as we get closer to the Yom Narayim, it behooves us to think in those terms. If we want bracha, and God forbid, we do not want klala to distance ourselves. If we want chayim, and we want to distance ourselves from mason, this is the way we're supposed to behave. 
This is the, the direction Hashem shows us through our Torah. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.